I'm seeing is a lot of cold following oh, the system. Good. <laughs> so I'm not going to commit one way or the other, but let me tell you, it's looking pretty good. Our chances for a white Christmas, I think, the way it looks because of the snow that we are going to get coming in later this week. Now, the best day of the week is today. Sunshine's going to return. It's fairly gray to start. We got a system that'll give us some fairly steady, but mostly light snow for tomorrow. The snow is going to hit harder south of Syracuse. I think we're going to be putting on upwards of three to as much as six inches of snow in some of those areas where the snow is a little bit heavier, a little bit less so when you go east of Lake Ontario, really a non event tomorrow up towards Jefferson County. But then Tuesday night into Wednesday, we've got localized lake effect snow, so it's not going to be everywhere at the same time. The thing is, it's going to be shifting around from Syracuse up to Jefferson County and Watertown back into the Syracuse area, and then it's going to be prolonged. There's also going to be some wind and eventually cold as well. We're talking highs in the teens and lows in the single digits later this week, so that's definitely a deep freeze that's going to keep the snow around for a while. So here's our next weather maker. You see some snow in Pennsylvania going up into Michigan. Not concerned with that at all. I think all that does is give us some cloud cover passing this morning and midday. It's actually weakening. This will be strengthening this low pressure system in Oklahoma, giving some snow to the Plain States will spread on in late tonight and then through tomorrow. It's mostly steady. Now, by the end of the day tomorrow, it's already going to be weakening and wrapping up, but then the lake effect pulls in behind it more localized. So at noon today, we're looking at a partly sunny sky. Uh, any of that lake effect flurries east of the lake moves up into Canada and ends this morning. So as we go into the afternoon, we actually brighten some of the sky. Partly cloudy here at 5 o'clock, becoming overcast towards midnight. And then first developing from around Watkins Glen to Ithaca and Norwich, some snow after midnight and eventually late night for Syracuse. Notice up to the north, it's dry here in Jefferson County. They'll be in and out of some light snow at times. The snow may be heavier at times, not all day, so there's no warnings, just an advisory from about Tully South. So you see some of these darker blues, especially in the morning and midday. As we go through the afternoon, the light snow starts to taper and pulls away. But first, we get some lake effect snow and snow showers southeast of the lake tomorrow evening that moves up to Jefferson County that drops back into Syracuse later midday Wednesday and then last through about midday Thursday. So the lake effect's going to add on to these totals several inches, I feel. We're expecting two to four, three to six in the dark blue to the south, only an inch or two east of Lake Ontario from the storm system by the end of the day tomorrow. So the snow moves in for tomorrow after our pick day. 33 here. It's windy, shifting lake effect snow. Starts up north on Wednesday, comes into central New York, and we still have lake effect snow into central New York Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Thursday afternoon, we dry up. But look how cold it is. 17, 8. We're quiet on Friday, back into the 30s this weekend. We got a jingle bingle coming.